have got to start with our first guest. She has a message that we all need to hear. Her book titled, Get What You Want, How to Go from Unseen to Unstoppable, certainly has our attention. She is a writer. She has her own podcast. Please welcome business coach, Julie, uh, Julie Solomon. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you both for having me. It is great to be here with you today. It's so great. So elevator pitch, like how do we get what we want? Or am I even jumping in too soon with that? Not at all. I love the idea of, of starting with an elevator pitch. Like, how, how do I get what I want? How do I get it fast? And how do I get it easier than ever before? And I think the first thing that we need to do in order to know what it is that we do want, we first got to get clear on what it is that we don't want. Mm -hmm. Because I think a lot of times, you know, it's so easy to list all those things, right? Yes. So it's first, like, let's get really clear of all the things that we no longer want in our business, in our life, and how we're showing up in the world. And then that's going to get us closer to, to what we do want. And then with the elevator pitch, I always love to ask a really simple question of what is the goal? Mm -hmm. What is the goal with your new business venture? What is the goal with you heading up the PTA at school? What is, what is the goal for anything that you're really wanting to sink your teeth into? And then that's going to get you a few steps closer to really um, being able to identify what that is and then getting that elevator pitch going. And it has so much more meaning behind it. Exactly. exactly. Now you, you talk about um, going from unseen to unstoppable. It's all about identifying our our origin story and something you had to face. Your, uh, talk about how your upbringing kind of shaped you to become who you are today. Yes, so that's really why I, the, the title of the book, uh, the, the tagline really is how to go from unseen to unstoppable. And I actually start the very first chapter of the book out with this idea of an origin story. If you guys have ever watched a Marvel or DC movie, you've probably heard of an origin story before. We typically think of superheroes and capes, but really at the end of the day, we all have an origin story. And it really is the story that shapes our belief systems mm -hmm. that then go to shape the way we think and that mm -hmm. then go to shape our actions and our habits and really our results in life. And so mm -hmm. I think it's really about getting to the core of what is my origin story? What are the belief systems that I have that shape the way that I think and feel about relationships, that I think and feel about money, that I think mm -hmm. and feel about you know, my ability to achieve those goals that I say that I want? And that really, that clear understanding and I think awareness of really understanding where I've come from and what has shaped me allows us to then take the next step from there. And, and the next step, and I love how you're putting action into all your work, which has to do with three tools, correct? Yes. Okay, what are those? Yes, the three tools that I say to freedom are really awareness, acceptance, and action. Now, I did not create this or coin this, but I do live by them. And really, that first step is having the awareness. Mm -hmm. And awareness is just, what is the reality of the situation? It doesn't mean I have to like it, doesn't mean anything else, but but what is the awareness here? And then that second step is acceptance, which is most of the time the hardest step to come by. Most of us love to be, okay, I'm aware, now let's go take action. Yeah. But we really have to start to accept reality on reality's terms. Can I accept the way something is? Again, not that I like it, but yeah. can I just accept it? And once we can get to this place of like, okay, I, I can accept where I'm at and what's happening, then I can take the action to get a different result. So you coach women all the time, um, and you have people ask the question, why am I talking? <laughs> yes, and I know <laughs> this one can sound a little, I think, aggressive or maybe abrasive yeah. of like, I'm supposed to ask myself why I'm talking right now when my business coach, Julie Solomon, is telling me to share my voice and be seen and talk. But I think this idea of really, again, the awareness of understanding, if I'm showing up right now and I'm maybe trying to fix something or control something, or I'm maybe trying to put my two cents in where maybe I need to be listening instead of talking at the moment, what can I learn from this? And so that is like a, a hack that I always use. Before I dive in to offer help or assistance or my opinion, I like to think about like, why am I talking right now? Why do I want to talk? Why do I want to say something? And is it coming from a productive place that is, again, going to get me closer to where I want to be? Or is it something that maybe there's some underlining stuff happening here that I need to kind of assess? And, and it kind of starts, correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, one thing that you say, which I really love, is that you are the most important person in your life. Yes. Which is easier said than done. I think a lot of us, I know myself, are kind of people pleasers by nature. Absolutely. So how did you get to that, that magical, that, that moment mm -hmm. of freedom to find that? Yeah, and I think especially for, if you're a parent, I'm a parent, and so to, to have to say that it's it's like I'm the most important you know, person in my life right. when I have these two beautiful children that depend on me. But it's kind of like when you're flying on an airplane, what do they say? 
put your mask on first before you put it on somebody okay. else. And that really is that if, if I'm not taking care of me and if I am not the best version of myself, if I'm not stepping into really what is possible for me, then how can I expect to show up for others in the best way possible? I'm not going to be a great wife. I'm not going to be a great mom. I'm not going to be a great support system to my friends. I'm not going to be great at anything if I'm not really putting myself first and foremost. And that's when like self-care and all of those other right. amazing things come into play. Got to take care of number one, right? Set. Exactly. You thank you so, yeah, so much. Thank you, thank you for having so me. Talented. All right. Her best-selling book, Get What You Want, How to Go from Unseen to Unstoppable, is on store shelves right now. So get it. Also, follow her career online. Visit juliesolomon.net.